This is the land of the sages and of the mullahs. A disputed land that was drenched with the blood of many innocent people in a religious political war. 17 years later, does Ayodhya continue to simmer in the embers of the 92 riots or has it found peace? Hello and welcome to the special episode of Why Not that comes to you straight from the Ram Janmabhoomi. With the Liberhand Commission report being discussed in the parliament now, 17 years after the Babi Masjid demolition of 92, Why Not decided to spend the day in Ayodhya and find out whether the Babi episode has further polarized the younger generation. <laughs> वो होना चाहिए था वो ठीक था गलत था अगर वहाँ मस्जिद नहीं बन सकती तो मंदिर भी कतई नहीं बननी चाहिए मस्जिद की दीवालों में घंटा घड़ियाल टूटी हुई मूर्तियाँ गिराई गई थी करेक्ट करेक्ट आप ये मत भूलिए कि जब 6 दिसंबर उन्नीस हुआ था घटना तो जब मस्जिद तोड़ी गई थी तो ग्रेनेट लगा कर तोड़ी गयी थी और जिसमे जिसमें काफी जो हिंदू लोग आए थे तोड़ने के लिए कार सेवक लोग वो लोग अपना घंटा सामान लेकर आए थे और वो घंटा हमारे कहने का मतलब है कि वो तलवार भी तो लेकर आए थे झंडा भी तो लेकर आए थे हर चीज लेकर आए थे ये आप जानिए कि खुशी में आदमी हर चीज लेकर रहता है उस समय खुशी नहीं थी खुशी तो टूटने के बाद भाई मेरी बात सुनिए आप क्या कहा आपने मन मस्जिद टूटी उसकी खुशी आपको हुई उसे टूटने के बाद ना जैसे आप बता रहे हैं आप आप जाहिर कर रहे हैं कि मुसलमानों से आप कितना जल्दी इस जेनरेशन में भी धर्म और मजहब इतना मायने रखता है कि आप रखता है हम लोगों के लिए बहुत मायने रखता है उसके लिए हम अपनी जान दे भी सकते हैं और ले भी सकते हैं देश कुछ नहीं मजहब सब कुछ रखता है इस देश ने हम लोग को क्या दिया बाबरी मस्जिद थी बाबरी मस्जिद को शहीद कर दिया मेरे पिताजी को शहीद कर दिया क्या दिया इस देश ने बताइए Khalid's extreme emotions are a result of his past. His father was one of the first few Muslims to be killed on 6 December 1992. In our house, no one could study this danger. My father was alive, so you know that we were the most famous people in Ayodhya. But when my father was right, the people were completely destroyed. Just a little away, I was told of another victim family. That year, in a span of two days, 17 Muslims were killed in Ayodhya. Tabassum is 18 years old and a polio patient. She was only one year old on December 6, 92. Two of her uncles were killed and their house and fields burnt down, leaving her family homeless and penniless. Today, 17 years later, this family of five stays on a terrace in this tiny brick room. Her father works in a mosque and earns only 600 rupees a month. For Tabassum, it means keeping all her dreams and ambitions bottled up, because she knows her father can't afford them. <laughs> All her life, the Bassam has seen the struggle for very basic needs. She does not hate the people who reduced her family's fate to this. But she hates living this life. One day that changed the lives of these people and nothing can undo that. No compensation can make up for what they have lost and continue to lose.